What is good, guys? We are back with multi. We got lefties versus high. This is game one, best of three, round one playoffs. We don't. We are gonna rewatch the first few turns that we missed here, as they just exchanged rocks. Both players don't have hazard control, so if Pharaoh gets up spikes, it's gonna be annoying um, for the Greninja, the Hippo, and the packs. And that's probably Mega Zam, and lefties is probably not gonna Mega Evolve his Zam anytime soon, so he doesn't take hazard damage. As we disconnect here early on, but he's gonna come back soon. So I think that Greninja is uh, either Choice Scarf or. I mean, it could also be like some life offset. But I definitely think it's like Protean Scarf. Because that's like a team to this, pretty similar to this, is what lefties used to qualify for OT at least a few games. It had a Venus Dealer. And it had um, a Mew, a Scarf, Gren, a Clef. And I think it's Zygarde. Yeah, this mod, this team is a bit different, but like it kind of based on that, I think it's Scarf Greninja. As he brings it in here. You're gonna see now, depending on the moves. Uh, Lefty's used spikes on his Scarf Greninja, who that's definitely an option. He used that uh, on his other team that he used for ulti laddering. But um, Hai is obviously not gonna stay in here. He's gonna go to Toxic Pack, see, because we never know if this has Dark Pulse. Like, we don't know confirmed if it's Ash or Protean. But yeah, if he spikes, it's definitely a good play here, because Hai has no way to get rid of him as um, his only way to get um, not let Hazards go up is Magic Bounce. The anti and the anti is not Mega Evolved yet, and anyway, he would also never go hard into the anti unless you're a god and you predict the Greninja to go for spikes. Um, if the Pharaoh has Knock of here, that's gonna be really nice for Hai to get rid of. Um, Actually, no, the, the Toxapex probably has Shed Shell anyway because it's Duck Trio meta game. But in case he goes Salus he could get rid of the lefties with a knockoff here. Um, but yeah, I assume that lefties is gonna go Clef or um, Toxapex here. Uh, Hayim might also scout if the Squininja is probably in HP Fire and switch out. That would be a good play. I think he scouted for HP Fire, yeah. But the way that, like, the way Lefty's played is he switched out, so that makes me think that he's Scarf, like I said. Um, I thought that from the beginning anyway. Um, there's no point in staying in for Lefty's here. I think that was a misclick, because um, Fireblast made no sense there. Because, uh, like, Hayek can stay in, or he can go Reuniclass. He would never go Feral Thorn there. So, yeah, I think... Lefty, yeah, Lefty says it was a misclick. That sucks a lot because now Celestia is burned and it's 73, which means after Roxas it's like 61. And it probably gets two hit killed from Diamond Stone from that range. Maybe it's a roll of the DNC's mix special attack, but yeah, Celestia is not gonna be switching into DNC anymore. And it's also not getting hit any health back from Uniclus. Uniclus is actually a big threat to Lefty's team because of the um Yeah, because of the Reuniclus has has magic guard, so it doesn't take the hazard damage and it can be leech seeded. And it can just calm mind up, and it's gonna be really annoying. Um, lefties might have to PP stall with haze from Toxapex, potential movement on the hip power down. We will see later on. As he goes hard, Zem, it gets burned. This is, um, yeah, he he doesn't want to make a wolf this forever, like ever, unless unless he needs the damage late game. If, if Zem can, can clean up late game, he needs to mega to do enough damage, then he can mega. Um, but this is actually a threat if it has the correct coverage. It's obviously a big threat. Focus Blast slash HP Fire and Shadow Ball hits his entire team hard. Uh, besides, like, obviously Psychic blows this and the land away. But I'm just assuming that he's gonna switch into either one of his Psychic type or into the Pharaoh Zone. That's why I mentioned Shadow Ball and HP Fire slash Focus Blast here. And, yeah. He can also um, potentially, if he weakens highest team enough. If he has Wound on her power, then he can do chip damage to the Dianzi, the, the, um, the Tapu Lele. With the hazards and also the lander takes rocks and the pharaoh takes spikes. Like rocks all doesn't do much to the, the pharaoh, so I didn't think that was worth mentioning. Um, spikes do a bit more to pharaoh. So if everything gets chipped in range, you can potentially trace magic guard later on with Alakazam and Mega Evolve. It, like trace it from the Reuniclus. We will see if this is a common Alakazam or just an all out attacking one. But yeah, um, Tapu Lele can take a Shadow Ball. Does Scarf Tapu Lele even outspeed Alakazam? If it's modest, for sure. If it's timid, hmm. I think Scarf Lele outspeeds them, but I'm not 100% sure.
But yeah, this is another team. If you look at highest team, this is another team really weak to Psyche, MZ, Volcarona. That that mon has been slept on. I don't know what. Like it doesn't set up on that many mons, but like uh, wait, he's charged me Malakazam. That's so cool. I mean, that's like <laughs> some people would say that is bad, but like it hits Mantine and it gives him a special attack boost, just like Common does. <laughs> Like, it, how much is it? Like, 30% chance? I don't know. But I think Common is overall more reliable. But it makes sense if you look at the team that Mantine would be. Um, Mantine would be annoying for his team. Like, he, he can, like, PP stall Mantine, but it's still really annoying to his team. So, that's a cool tech there. I guess the Moonblast crit. Not sure if uh, Lefties is gonna scout for the. Um, if the Lele is choice locked here. He goes in the pack, he doesn't want to sack off his cleft. But I think Lefties is pretty sure that this is just. Um, Scarf type of leader, the way he has played this. Um, like if he scouts for Psychic, he could, could go hard Gwen here is what I meant. But then he would have to take a run of hazards and if it's not Scarf, that's just... Like Greninja doesn't get that many switch-ins. Doesn't have any form of recovery. Um, I assume we're just gonna see the... Reuniclus come out here if Haya is choice Scarfed, yep. So he gets up, so Lefties gets up a T-Spike, but like, yeah, Hai has to... That only forces in Hai's packs to get rid of it, like the... Yeah, but if he can Whirlwind, yeah, yeah, if he can Whirlwind Hai into like... The Diancy here, or into the um, Reunicle, um, the Tapu Lele, I mean, then he can t poison those. As he does get the land, though. So uh, Lefties is forced to go for a slack off here. You guys have been seeing that Reunicle is a big threat, as well was Calm Mining up. And Lefties was forced to Whirlwind it out, otherwise it would destroy him. Willand at least has a lot of PP, so that's gonna come in handy and clutch. Yeah, Lefties is not staying in here and risking his hippo getting burned. I think he's um probably going to clef. If it's common stop power, that would be cool. Um, but if the pack says haze, he doesn't beat it anyway. But yeah, he uses this as an opportunity to get some leftovers on his clef as high doubles into Diancy. Diancy to it chaos to Sila, I think, after rocks and with the burn and Clefable obviously is in range. So Lefties is in a, um, a bit of an annoying position here. If his Hippowdon has some Spadef investment, he can potentially pivot in, into Hippowdon. Uh, maybe not hard into Hippo, but he can like go into something that like Toxapex that makes high use um, of power slash... Not a move that is Moonblast, basically, and then he can pivot into Hippo from there. But it will um, weaken his um, Toxapex a lot, because see, this is just a free... Diamond Storm here that doesn't let the Celestia come in. That's why he goes for that. Yep. And. Yeah, he's gonna go hip out on here. As it can eat up a hit. Like, it eats up any two hits. I assume there's like mixed defensive but more fifth death. That's just a standard hippo spread. I think it runs like 144 or something. Or was it 112 on spit death? I don't remember. But yeah, he left this is forced to select off again, kinda. Because he needs his hippo healthy. Like, if he goes for off cookie and high switches into. Landorus, like Lefties doesn't do. I guess Lefties could technically go for go for Walmart here, but if he gets now, nah, Slack of is overall his best play. But if he goes for Walmart here and like high switches into like Lando and then he gets he Walmart him into like Tapu Lele and this Hippo isn't at full and range from Psychic that could potentially be dangerous for Lefties, which is why I think he should Slack of here. Yeah. I don't know why I'm <laughs> have trouble explaining what I'm trying to say. He does go for HPIs just to some chip. So he's just whirlwinding him around. He only does good damage on the um the Yancy on, on the he can whirlwind again here because the switch is really obvious, but he offquakes. Yeah, like the spikes and rocks only do a lot to the Yancy and the Lily, obviously. Like the packs too, but the packs has region. The Pharaoh doesn't have to worry about rocks much, only about spikes. So he's gonna um, earthquake again, I guess. Okay, selects off. I feel like he didn't have to select off there, but it makes sense that he wants his hippo healthy. So this is. Yeah, if this doesn't have Jarball, the Clefable can come in here for free and go for a softball. Um, another round. If he gets up all his spikes. So this, this means the Greninja, the Hippolyon, and the Pex have to take huge, huge, huge rounds of hazards every time they come in. 
So Pax's regenerator basically doesn't exist because it gets cancelled out as a nice tech fire blast. But in the process, he like he did some nice damage to the Pharaoh, but how you can just now switch out into his Reunicle slash Toxapex and in the process he lost the lefties on Clefail, which can be really annoying for lefties. He goes into Zamri, really nice play, like like a fucking god. He scares this out with his Shadow Ball and doubles in, in, into Hippo predicting uh, predicting what? I don't know what he predicted there. Oh yeah, the, the problem there was that he couldn't Mega because of the... And regular them probably didn't do enough damage. I don't know why he didn't comment there because he kind of wasted a Shadow Ball PP. Yeah, my bad guys, I don't know why I thought that lefties would... Oh, that the Renegus would be scared out. The Renegus was still pretty healthy. And I think the Alakazam, if it if it doesn't mega, if, if it get it get this death proof if it megas, I think it does. But it probably would have um, if it mega would have probably died to burn and sand and everything plus shadow ball damage. And that, yeah, I think so. So he's gonna whirlwind here. High comment up first. I think Sci Shock actually does more than shadow ball, but he click, he's been clicking shadow ball so far. So the pardon takes a huge huge hit here. Um, slack off was obviously the correct play there. I think he's just gonna. Sp okay, I thought he would spam slack off, but he goes hard Greninja. He knows that the psychic would come out there. I mean, it's a good play, but like. Greninja cannot switch into hazards anymore. So Greninja only has one move to go for here. And if he goes. If he wastes it and goes for U turn, then it doesn't do anything for him because this is just a free packs for high. Um, I think what he should do is go for like. If he. Like maybe a spike, but even that doesn't gain him that much. But a spike still gets him more than a U-turn. If he has a surprise, if he has a surprise extra sensor here and catches the packs on a switch, that would be cool. I don't think he has that, but that would be really cool here. Um, Hayes Lily also dies to Hazard, so there's not really a point in saving it. I mean, he can save it as Death Fodder, I guess. Yeah, he can save it as Death Fodder, but it's a bit risky. Like, Reuniclus is so important, so I don't think he's gonna go hard Reuniclus, since Good Ninja doesn't re didn't reveal his entire moveset. Like, Scarf Grand with Dark Pulse is no set, but you never know. Since he didn't reveal it yet, it's still a bit risky to go into that. So he might just he might just sack the Tabu Lily because it dies to Hazard, and he has no form, like, no way of Hazard control. But yeah, he does keep it as far as farther. Yeah, he just goes for you, turn hmm. I know. I would have gone for a spike. I know it doesn't make like the biggest difference, but I think a spike would have been cool. But he gets momentum into his Zammer. He's just gonna click Psychic here, Psychic to run boost it. That easily kills the Pharaoh from the range. It's add without Mega Evolving. And Hai is probably gonna sack off his Tapu Lily here. Or his Ferrothorn. Either or. But yeah, sacks his Ferrothorn. Yeah, one of the two, it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, they're both dead to hazards. Um, so he can either go into his Arena Clause or into his... I don't know if Lando takes a hit and beats this 1-1. One -one. I think Lando takes a hit as well. Why has it this other Kazem showed Charge Beam and Psychic so far, right? <laughs> We have more series coming after this, I'm kinda hyped for. Sabella was H Quares, Quares, however you say that. Um, so yeah, Hayes gonna go for Earthquake here, or U turn. I don't know if U turn kills, because if, if he Megas, he would get the, um, the Trace, the Intimidate. Yeah, but nah, if he, nah he's not, he cannot Mega, because if he Megas, he, then he takes. The burn damage, and if he switches out, he dies to hazards. So high play makes sense here, even if he can't kill. Like, he can't kill this if it megas. But if it doesn't mega, it can't kill the lander with psychic anyways. And even if it mega, it might not kill the lander. I don't know the calc. If it's modest, it actually, it actually probably kills the lander, yeah. Well, yeah, lefties can, lefties can go clef here. If I recall correctly, he healed his clef earlier. 
I mean, you can also go Celestealer. But Celestealer just feels like it's not, it's never gonna do anything in this, in this matchup. I like Hayu's team in that regard because he has mons like Lele and the Yancy that get annoyed by Pax, uh, by Celestealer. Not by Pax, by Celestealer. And then he has just Reuniclus and Pax, and th those are just mons that say, Celestealer, you're not gonna do anything this game. <laughs> I guess Dougie still makes makes that an option that it still does something because Dougie can kill Reuni with Ground C probably. Like squeeze into Ground C. So he makes that safe Cells Dealer play off quick into U turn into Reuni. Yeah, see that's the that's what I meant. Cells Dealer never gonna do anything. Can never go for Leech because Reuni has that magic guard. I mean he can go for Leech, but it, d it doesn't help him. So Hai is gonna calm it up again here and attempt to Like he's gonna make him whirlwind. He's gonna make Lefty's whirlwind. Um, actually, he might have to slack off first. So if he predicts slack off, he can command again. Yeah, he goes for slack off first as high predicts and goes for command again. So he does a bit more damage. I think Sasha does a bit more than Shadow Ball. So he, yeah, he goes for Sasha this time, realizing that. Um, I mean, what uh, what else? What not not what else? But what Hai can do here is just spam Earthquake to. So the Hippodrom like has to use up his slack off, and if it runs out of slack offs, then. I don't know, last it looks like last one where could win this potentially. I don't know if the Smugtus chat has talked about that yet. I haven't been really paying attention to the chat. I mean, sorry, it's going all white in the chat, you guys can read it. <laughs> yeah, he's just spamming Slack off here to stay as healthy as possible. I think he's gonna Slack off one more time. Nice attack job, yeah. And that crit sucks, wow. On the turn, on the turn, oh god, that sucks. On the turn that he finally decides to attack, he gets crit. That must be really annoying for him. Um, so I think, and I haven't paid attention to the earthquake damage, but I think he's in range from earthquake. Yeah, that crit sucked. Um, Reuniclus is such a huge problem for lefties, and like the, if, if after he loses Hippo, he can't move on it out anymore. So he's gonna go for his, he's gonna set up with his cleft before the Reuniclus can set up, but the problem is, Hai probably has Hazen Toxapex. And I think Reuniclus also potentially wins the Call Mind War because he has um, Psyshock and Clef only has Moonblast. Yeah, Hai is just gonna haze here. Like, there's no reason to go into Clef if you don't have haze. Uh, into Pex is what I meant, yeah. So he comments up again, but yeah, this is not gonna... Wait, he scalded. Yeah, I think he scalded once, but now he's gonna haze. I mean, he didn't He didn't have to haze immediately, I get, but what if this had T-Bolt? If this Clef had T-Bolt, I think I would have hazed immediately, because the burst of T-Bolt would have hurt. But yeah. This Clef is never gonna win, because T-Spikes and Haze both have a lot of PP. He also has the Reunion in the back, so... You can just haze and then go reuni and start a combine war and I think reuni wins that combine war. He goes hard Zam on a haze which is a good play. Look at all those hazards on the ground nice and... <laughs> that one hazard is just on Alakazam's food. Did I say that wrong? I think I was wrong English, yeah. I don't need... Nah, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, back into Lander we go but I think he might be in Psychic Grinch for sure. Like. Yeah, we've already talked about this earlier. If it megas, it's pretty, sh it's pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure it's in psychic range. But if he doesn't mega, it might live. He's not gonna mega here because he wants to change the magic guard from the Uniclus. And if he then gets, I don't know if he gets like a Shadow Ball crit or like. Yeah, if he megas and traces magic guard, maybe he can pull it off. I don't know. So he's gonna softball up here. This Clefable doesn't win this one on one unless it gets Moonblast special attack drops, which forces um like if you Moonblast um forces the Reunit to spam haze. So he goes in the pack there, which I don't know why. I guess he's just sacking it off. But yeah, this game is over now. So Hai is gonna take game one. Probably unless something Weird happens, unless he Shadow Ball crits. Yeah, most Reuniclus run enough EVs to outspeed Haze Toxapex. 
But even if he does not speed the Toxapex, I think Saisho kills from this range anyway at neutral if he hazes. Yeah, I think some Toxapex run like 8 speed to like creep the speed every Uniclus runs for packs, something like that. But I never have run pack speed on my packs. Uniclus is not that common, but yeah, it's definitely something you have to consider. That's, that it, you might want to speed creep it with your packs. Um. Not sure if his internet died. But Hai is definitely gonna click Psyshock here, obviously. I mean, this, this speed creep. Oh, he didn't speed creep it, but he just went for. Why did he not go for Haze? That was another misclick, I think. Like, I don't know why Shodan always does this. It says the player that. The, the player. Yeah, he's going mad. I think he. He didn't click that. Like, Shodan says high reconnected even though Lefty is disconnected and reconnected. Like, Shodan has this weird error. I don't get it at all. Not sure if he's playing on phone or why he has, like, trouble. So he did not, yeah, he did not have speed, speed creep on his reunit list, which means he would have hazed it and it would have been at neutral. But I don't know, if, I don't know if Lefty's won then. I guess, I don't know, Modest, Modest Shadow Ball probably, there's a lot to this, but I don't, I doubt it kills from 96. Like if he hazed. Yeah, we're gonna run a clock after the game. Oh, he says Alakazam lifts an unboosted Shadow Ball and he wins. So yeah, he would have Mega Evolved. He would have traced the Magic Guard, which means he doesn't have to take burn damage. And if this if this Reunica stayed in. I mean, even if he takes burn damage, burn only does 6%, he was super healthy. But it was it would have been important to trace magic guard. Like if high switches, he doesn't trace magic guard. But he still does enough damage to the opposing team if high switches. Let's say into, yeah. And if he switches into Pex, he traces regen. Then if he switches into land, yeah. That, I don't think yeah. That that was that was sucked. That sucked a lot. But yeah, I don't know if he like misclicked or if, if it was Shodan messing up or if he's on phone. All the noise this game is over now unless you shadow ball crits. Yeah, Smokers chat is discussing this. Yeah, he just got a crit then. But I'm pretty sure that he had left his head, yeah, he explained it. Modest Shadow Ball, um from Alakazam. I don't know if he said yet that he's modest, but I think he is just the way he said that he was gonna he eats the opposing Shadow Ball and then he 2 KOs this. And then he just clicks Psychic on the land, not on the packs. But yeah, now he can just spam Psyshock here. It does around half, it's a roll, it can do more than half. I assume. Um, so Lefties is gonna have to get like a Moonblast Spatak drop every time and just spam Moonblast. I don't know, like I hope that he gets everything that's Moonblast drop. Yeah, I see Lefty says I use. What are you saying? Sorry, I use haste and just wins. Yes, he's talking about my man. Sorry, that talked said was talking that chat. What the fuck. I mean, now he's yammed again, which means it's gonna do more than half unless he gets a drop. So he gets a drop here, but there was a higher roll, 54. Like earlier, 30, 49. So he has to just attack, I think, and fish for a drop. Now softball doesn't do much. I guess that's fine for high ECM again. Just, just gonna side shock here. Okay, see him again. I mean, it doesn't matter what high he does. As long as the Alakazam doesn't crit him, high he has the game. At this point. But yeah, this was a bit of a longer game. Wait, didn't I say the game was over like a few minutes ago, but lefties could have still won? I don't remember. I think I, I think I missed up a bit, yeah. Yes, if he crits, he can still win, but like... Could it's like 6%? 6.25? I don't remember.
Yeah, he doesn't get the crit and this game is over. I'll see you guys with game 2 in the next video. I mean, they're still playing, but like... It's only about a few seconds. Um, so, Hai has been doing really well. I think he was in the top 4 last time. And I, also, if you guys know how to pronounce Hai, I don't really know. Sometimes I like to say, call him Hai. Hai? Uh, Some... <laughs> Someone like says it's hi yeah. Hi hi I really I'm not the biggest like I'm not the best at pronouncing these names. But yeah, congrats to him for winning game one and we will be back with game two. And hopefully Lefties doesn't lose to like a misclick or internet issues or whatever he had there, I don't know what it was. Hope you all enjoyed and we be back with game two in a bit. Peace out.